We had more than the 300 earthquakes, uh, especially the strongest in the area just northeast of the Grindavik. And uh, as you can see, there is no evidence for boiling of magma. Hagafell had the highest earthquake just at near the center of this image, as you can see here. The interesting thing is that in the harmonic tremor chart, the tectonic uh, tremors are now back to normal. The chart is reversed practically. The tectonic uh, uh, earthquakes are the blue lines and the magmatic or volcanic earthquakes are the purple line. Purple line should be at the bottom for the volcano to erupt. And it had that, quest, uh, that situation in, in the Friday. And uh, now this is reversed. There is something as if holding back the magma. And uh, this uh, situation can be explained by one way, and that is that probably there is something uh, less dense than the actual magma, which is uh, around 3.5, 3.2, uh, and that is sediment sedimentary rocks can be almost buoyant, can stay on the top of any heavy rock from the mantle, as the earth crust is like that also, and hold it down. So the magma has reached the level from a deeper source, but pulling out, pulling apart the Grindavik was not enough to release it to the surface. Magma was at a very heavy depth, is yet four or five kilometer. It cannot rise because of the sediments holding it, trapping it in the earth crust, within the earth crust. With the help of the seismograms and the geophysical evidence, we can see that this is forming what we call in geological terms a lacolif. Lacolif is this kind of dome-shaped structure when the dike, feeding dike from the mantle uh, or lower part of the earth crust rises to a level that the sediments are numerous and uh, layered, they get trapped inside the layer. Each layer traps it individually.